So guys, uh, good morning. Uh, this is Kumar Gupta from Asia Training Solutions. Um, uh, this video is for the tool evaluation, performance testing tool evaluation. Uh, even if you are doing an automation tool evaluation, more or, like, more or less the template would be same. The parameters would change a little bit depending on it. So maybe you can use this as a you know ball per, or you use this as a starting point in respect of which tool evaluation you are doing. Anyways, we will limit our conversation or discussion right now to the performance testing tool evaluation. Uh, so a lot of requests are coming through. So I thought, you know, I'll create a quick video on this one, put together something. So I have this tool evaluation template here. Um, well, um, somebody who is not a manager or lead might be wondering when this performance testing tool evaluation happens. You know, I've been working in PT industry for so long and never happened to, you know, hear about this. Usually if you're a manager or a lead, um, you get to do this. Um, um, or if you're working for a small company, uh, respective of uh, the position that you are in, they might ask you to do this. Uh, Typically, this happens at the very starting of your performance testing. You know, the first stages, okay, while the NFRs or after the NFR gathering is done around that time period, usually, you know, a manager or a lead is expected to create this activity. And we usually do this for a client who who haven't done performance testing or do it for a project where the performance testing was not done done and this is the very first time you are doing the performance testing there is no prayer scripts there is no prayer testing is done so they expect you to do some tool evaluation enlighten them educate them on about the tools uh, what is the um, you know uh, positives negatives of different tools so that you know they can pick up a right tool um, uh, well uh, the template would remain same uh, whichever tool evaluation for whichever project you are doing but the parameters might change uh, this is a generic parameter probably you can use it for any web application but probably if you are using it for maybe for let's say uh, SAP or uh, Oracle <coughs> or Siebel the template parameters might change template would be more or less same so I am doing the comparison here for three tools uh, Jmeter, Blazemeter and Loadview ideally I could have added Loadrunner because Loadrunner or and then um, Gatling and Neoload because those are the popular tools but anyways I have put together something you know um, you can do um, I mean once you have the template it doesn't take too much time to add those additional tools okay do a little bit of research typically what I do is I call them up you know let's say I wanted to use Loadrunner identify the right person call them up and say that I'm doing the tool evaluation and uh, if everything goes fine we will go ahead and uh, recommend your tool for the client so then they will be more interested to sell the tool to you they, they give you all the information that you need okay so that's how I usually do so you can call the new load guys up you can call the load runner or you know these guys up or Gatling guys so they the, the sales team of those guys and then they will be giving you all this information and what all the strengths and then you know they can help you build this uh, uh, put together this evaluation I mean the the tool evaluation document uh, even more you know uh, in a better way so that's what I usually do but anyways you know I did this so quickly let's go through uh, procurement cost first thing you know this is what you know people care about so usually Jmeter is free of cost you know and then uh, for blaze meter as you can see $99 for 1000 users for 499 for uh, 5000 uh, users okay so a uh, load view also it's a SaaS model so you can pick up the prices from there as well okay uh, load runner you can also you know there is a load runner cloud and then there is uh, you know uh, the load runner standalone model you can put the pricing for both of them if you want or you can create two more views one is a uh, load runner cloud which is uh, um, strong runner load and then the load runner okay then you can put the prices for both of them here you know something like that so so the hardware needed um, basically if it's less it depends it's vary from user load as you know for jmeter so uh, maybe it's like 400 500 users you know simple one windows machine with 16 gb ram that's more than enough but if the user load is increasing then you have to do the master slave configuration and then you need multiple machines and uh, you get into all that 
so you know after nfr gathering you would know how many users you are running the test based on that you can you know fill this up okay so this is these are both are saas models so you know basically it's not applicable that's what uh, you can say okay so this both these tools blaze meter and load your saas model so you don't need any hardware setup to be honest okay so is this a license based and all that you know jmeter is free of cost you know you can say pricing tailored to our needs depending on the users you know the pricing here also you know the pricing is tailored for the news because this is also saas model and the pricing is given here uh installation setup and all that you know uh none for small loads okay but if you're going for huge loads then master slave configuration is required so usually it takes one day but you know you can put together four to five days here to be on the safer side so this both of this on the fly because they are on the source models uh load generation setup time again you know you can say less than 10 times because you know all the setup that is required is over here so you can say less than 10 minutes here but you are not including master slave you can put four to five days over here okay and this is saas models i don't think you need any time but just to be on the safe side you can say less than 10 minutes because you have to do some registration and all that okay so that's what it is and here um, on the fly you can say but you have to do the registration and all that so probably i'll put one day okay because you have to do the registration and make sure you know the load generation you know lgs and all that is in place so and then run a small um um shake down test to just to make sure that you know uh, you are getting all the users uh, fine and the load generation is happening well the load generators are in place so you can put one day one day here for these two guys here and then uh, the load generation setup time as i've told you okay you can put one day if you want okay to be on the safe side okay so is it a web based or a stand alone this is a stand alone this is a web based or a saas and this is both okay you are it is available both on the uh, stand alone and then you know or the saas model okay um how frequently the soft upgrade uh, upgrades happen uh, upgrades will happen regularly as you see jmeter once in 3 months 4 months and it does not incur any cost that's what you know the client actually looks for okay and here is a saas model so it doesn't incur any cost okay so <clears throat> script trim languages usually jmeter is bean shell groovy and uh, for blaze meter again basically you generate the scripts in jmeter itself and upload in blaze meter so again you can say bean shell and groovy here uh, .net and uh, c sharp okay uh, what kind of applications protocol supports web and api but uh, these days it up jmeter supports even more so you can put all those and here web api and heavy java scripts um scripts runner a uh, controller how many concurrent users we can run okay so uh, maximum concurrent users maximum users is what we can say okay so uh, it's free of cost but uh, master slave configuration is required here it depends on the license more money you pour in more more users you get and the licensing cost is given here okay analysis and report uh, well the basic reporting is available in all the tools okay so uh, what is the reporting to play like? it's for all the tools it's a graphical representation only can we monitor the database apps middleware servers and how no i don't with these tools directly not only this performance tools performance testing tools any performance testing tools directly monitoring is not possible middleware i think load runner they have given some provision but anyways with uh, these three tools it's not applicable so you need a separate apm tools okay for monitoring all this okay uh, tool training okay i free train if if you think that you need some training that needs to be imparted to your team you can mention here and say how many days of training and all that uh, but uh, if you if you train if your team is already trained you can say that the team is trained and uh, if you think that you know the team is not trained but you don't want to give um any additional training charges to the client you can say that you know free training material available online and you think that the teams can scale up that's what you can put it up here okay so otherwise you can say focus trainings required or you know this is the additional cost required okay so what kind of support we get from the tools jmeter is a free tool we don't get anything from them uh, but uh, blaze meter load runner a uh, load view uh, you know they have a good support so you know you can put the sls and everything here you can call them ask them what it is and you can put those numbers here okay uh, 
and uh, do we support a cloud based uh, or do we have a do we have a cloud based tool to support performance testing i mean these are both are cloud based only jmeter no separately jmeter itself doesn't know but it uh, the support can be provided using the placement okay can we integrate with devops tools like jenkins all of them yes these days almost all the tools will help them because this is because of the ci cd pipeline and all that uh, version controller i don't think it is applicable okay uh, what browsers it supports you can do some research and you can put those numbers here or put those uh, browsers here okay and uh, does the tool support mobile testing all of them you know proxy recording we can do and then do it uh, with respect to of whether it's a hybrid app or a or a mobile app or a native app you know you can do the proxy recording you can set up the proxy and do the recording and if you uh, if you think you know you have to add any additional parameters you can feel free to do so but these parameters are good enough okay and this is how a performance tool evaluation um, happens um, you, you know if you are a lead or a manager you can put put this up in your resume and say that you have done the evaluation this is what pretty much people do um, they call these guys up let's say you want to add you want to add one more tool here let's say new load okay for example so um, whatever the information i can get it from online i'll get it and fill this up and then call those near near load sales guys so they are always willing to sell that t tool to you you can say that you are working for wipro tcs or infosys and you are saying that you are doing the evaluation for so and so client bank of america or whatever it is and uh, we are very keen on purchasing so if you can help me put the points together for the tool evaluation and tell me what is your usp and selling points so i can add that to the tool evaluation so they are more than helpful to you know uh, to 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 give you all the information and then provide their strengths and all that so you can fill this up so that's what most of the people will do the tool evaluation and that's what is the expectation as well because client what is the final agenda or the final outcome or what is that you want from this tool evaluation activity the client wants to pick up the right tool for doing the performance testing with the least licensing cost okay uh, so uh, more research you do it is better uh, i always used to you know push low runner because that's what my expertise so it is easy for me to do the scripting and all that so if if i think it's a financial um, institute uh, which we are doing or it's a financial entity for which we are doing the performance testing for they usually have lot of money or health sector they have lot of money so i used to push low runner there because for me it is easy to work i was an expert in that and then you know uh, and then it's easy to build up the team because a lot of people know low runner and internally when i was working for you know a particular company internally you know the people who are on bench it's easy easy to pull uh, if it's low runner because a lot of people know low runner so that's why i always used to push low runner okay um, you know add that extra points or whatever it is make them little fascinating and then you know the eventually the client will you know merge to what you say because he he usually hears from you okay so anyways you know i think i've given enough pointers guys this is my peace of mind uh, i mean uh, whatever i think you know with my experience and all that you know uh, i shared my you know two cents uh, somebody who has experts in this you know you can leave the comments below and say that you know i can make this video better by adding these points okay and uh, somebody wants this uh, evaluation template somebody wants this evaluation template you can whatsapp me guys this is the whatsapp number okay so you can whatsapp me on this number here okay requesting the template um and then um and leave your email id in the whatsapp so that i can send you uh, the the template okay thank you guys 8019952427 that's my number leave the whatsapp message with your email id to get this template and by the way um, um you know it's isha training solutions um our uh, focus area in trainings is performance testing we don't do everything we do only performance testing training because we are the experts in that so uh, we do performance testing for quite some stuff like low runner advanced low runner low runner with lots of protocols like you know true client uh, mobile pt uh, web services ssp to sap web you know whatever you need you know and then jmeter jmeter code to master wonderful training is available with us okay 50 to 60 hours of focus training jmeter with bean shell okay neo load uh, self performer gatling uh, uh, 
everything under the roof, whatever you need, you, know, you can let me know, we can arrange the trainings. And APM tools like Dynatrace, AppDynamics, New Relic, and then log tools like Splunk, Splunk Datadog, we have the trainings for all these. And we have some wonderful trainings in performance engineering front. So we have wonderful trainers, Satish and Sarvanan, who is doing an extremely good job. So we are the first ones to, um, you know, uh, you know, do the performance engineering training on the, on the uh, online. So we have very, very good reviews and ratings for them. And uh, we just introduced a beautiful course called per Cloud Performance Engineering because these days almost, you know, every all the clients are moving from on-premises to cloud. So as a performance tester, as an engineer, you need to understand what is this cloud and how does, what needs to be learned from performance testing angular performance engineering front okay so we have created the courses on that a lot of courses even in the automation appium we have just introduced um, mobile automation testing with appium you know got wonderful reviews for gaurav who is the trainer and uh, selenium with java and live projects okay uh, you know we're doing some crash wonderful crash courses as well so we are planning to introduce one course called bean shell not uh, groovy with jmeter uh, that's that's hot um, so anyway, so quite some trainings in the pipeline guys. So uh, anything that you need, you let us know and then, you know, we can help you with the trainings. You can purchase the uh, self-paced recorded videos, uh, which is at little lower price and then the live sessions, uh, you can attend them. Okay, so and then we do provide project support. So we handle freelance projects. Uh, just recently, we have completed a project with Test House. Got a wonderful reviews for that. Completed a project with uh, Price Water Coopers. Wonderful reviews for that. Both of them, you know, one we have implemented in Storm Runner. One we have implemented in JMeter. We have a wonderful team in house, performance testing team, which can implement the projects for you guys. So um, if you are a company and looking to outsource your work, so there you go, guys. We have you have the experts you know you can look at you can go through our website and you can look at all the trainings we provide uh, we can look at you can look at the youtube channel the kind of knowledge we have and then you can give the projects to us okay anyways thank you so much this uh, video helps hope this video helps uh, take care please um, you know, please register, subscribe uh, for uh, sorry, subscribe for our channel. Lot of wonderful uh, videos we will keep we'll keep putting on this uh, channel. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye.